Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you see this, I would like to offer the Elemental Energy Reading for the month of September of 2024 for the air signs of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. If you're interested as to why I read for the elements and not the zodiac, there's a link in the description of a, a video I made describing that. And if you're interested in any of the decks, books, or etc. that I am using, those are also linked in the description down below. If you have never had your charts done and you don't know what your elemental alignment is outside of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for air, there is a natal chart link in the description. It's not a promotional thing or anything. I personally just really like this product. They give you the baseline chart with the 12 houses and all the little planets and connections and symbols on it. And then they also give you a 10 to 20 page description, depending on what's in your chart, of what all that means. And it's a good baseline. It's not going to be super pinpointing everything. But it gives you an idea of what your elemental alignment is. It gives you a really good baseline to move from. And <laughs> every time I go back to check mine, I'm always surprised by how accurate it is. And there's a different parts of my life that are coming up as I'm going through it. So it's, it's worthwhile and it's not super expensive. And like I said, it's not an affiliate or anything like that. It's just a really cool product. And that's the natal chart in the description. With that, we'll get started for our reading, and for error, I cast your hexagram before we started the video, and it is hexagram 55, and you guys have the abundance hexagram. Abundance and success, the king inspires them. Do not be sad, it is fitting to be like the sun at its zenith. So, you, air, it looks like you are going to be sitting on cloud nine this month. It definitely has some powerful uh, solar energy is what I'm getting, uh, which kind of goes in line with air as a rule, so not a bad thing. We'll get started on our de de definitions here. Your baseline, your foundation. On meeting a prince of equal rank, though he accepts hospitality for 10 days, he is not at fault. Progress is made in winning respect. This one is a little bit odd, but what I'm hearing is you're going to meet people on a journey very similar to yours. And accepting hospitality for 10 days, you're accepting their companionship as you're going through this month. And even if they happen to slip or wander off to do their own thing, that's fine. That's their journey. You make progress by being respectful. Integrity is huge this month. Air, it's big all the time, but they're wanting to emphasize it this month. So something to keep thinking about. Uh, your second place line, which I need to find a different yellow. This one's not quite bright enough. Uh, says, so great is the obstruction that the midday sun appears to him as a tiny star. To advance now would be to invite mistrust and ills. However, confidence would seem to be on the increased good fortune. They're saying that there's a period this month where things may not be opportune and you're going to know about this. It doesn't mean you can't advance, it just is going to slow things down a little bit. Um, when the sun is reduced to a pinpoint, it's saying you're not going to be able to see the path clearly. And that's where some, it's just not going to be a smooth sailing for you. But overall, your confidence in your abilities, your skills, and your talents, it's going to allow you to keep going forward. So don't get too upset if things kind of have a trip there for a second. Your third place line. So copious is the rain that even at midday there is obscurity. He breaks his right forearm, no error. Basically, if, if the rain comes, retreat to the shelter, take your time, um, pushing forward you could do it. It's not probably going to be the best opportunity. If things really look sketch, just step back. It's not that big of a deal. You're still going to have f further growth, movement. They're saying um, some kind of an abundance is coming in, and that could be financial, family, or otherwise. But you don't have to, f like, I'm going to plow through. There, there's no there's no benefit to that. You're not going to hurt anything if you do decide to go that route. But if you don't have to, they're saying don't don't really bother. Um, your fourth place line 
So great is the obstruction that the midday sun appears as a tiny star, meeting a prince of equal rank good fortune. So the person who kind of wandered off and you just were like, whatever, do your thing. They're going to come back and it's going to come back in that period where you're just like, you know what? I'm going to step back from the situation. They're coming back in to be like, cool. So how do we go from here? But it's going to end up being beneficial for both parties. It's not one of those like they're going to come in and take over and, you know, steal your thunder. They're coming in to actually be a companion for a time. And that could be an advisor. That could be a friend. It could be a lot of different things. So with your friend group this month, definitely go with the flow is what I'm hearing. So our fifth place line, right, Lara, the first, the broken one up here, uh, the variegated beauty of the sky after the storm now appears. Blessings and fame are one good fortune. After a rainstorm, you walk outside, you smell the wet grass, you smell the wet soil. The sky is that beautiful purple, bluish green, not, well, sometimes green, but you also can see the rainbows if the sun comes out. It is beauty in a different way. It is like peaceful, hopeful beauty. That's what's coming forward towards the end of things here. And it's saying blessings and fame. Fame doesn't always mean like celebrity, yay, but it's saying things are going to turn out all right. Everything's going to eventually come out the right way it's supposed to. Everyone's going to be knowing where they all stand, and that's what's important going forward. Our capstone here is there is abundance in his dwelling and a wall around his house yet peering through the gate he sees no one for three years he sees nobody misfortune you've just because you've made everything correct doesn't mean everyone else has to cheer you on they're saying that this is one of those situations where you're doing the successful thing you're building the abundance a don't lock yourself away because and become the miser. I made my money. Why would I share? But it's also saying you don't have to worry about other people's opinions. Like you don't need to seek out their approval. You don't need to seek out the other person's opinions of you. It's saying do your thing. Do it for you. Don't look for the accolades. But also don't become such a miser because you have those that you're not willing to expand and grow with others and include them along the path. Overall, just from your I Ching, air, it's looking good. Definitely pay attention, follow your intuition, which is not something you like to do because you're very logical and analytical, which is great. But in this situation, your intuition is going to be a little bit helpful as you go through this month. So... Um, We'll hop over to our tarot and oracle cards. Um, I go week by week, and there's four weeks and a couple of days in September, so we'll do four weeks and a bonus fifth week. I read a guide or guardian, a message from source, and a lesson or challenge from the tarot. A guide or guardian, it's pretty simple, guiding you through the week or guarding you from any chaos or hiccups that might be showing up. A uh, message from source are positive, supporting messages that come in and the lesson or challenge it can be a lesson to work on something to think about a little reminder or a challenge uh, that you might not be expecting that might be popping up um, and it's kind of a forewarning I go th month um, one two three four through the month if the weeks rearrange for you then that's how they rearrange because the universe God source divine has a sense of humor so we'll go with that <laughs> your first we um, first week's guide or guardian is the illuminary as it said in the I Ching your the Sun is shining on you and this is the illuminary dragons are also bringing in it's illuminating the fact that you've done a lot of previous work and this month it's going to show you're going to be the center of attention for a period doesn't mean the whole month is going to be that way but definitely to start out things off it's the Sun's shining on you definitely a time to enjoy that uh, support enjoy enjoy that growth potential that you've already had but the future potential as well and take the time to really tap into that peaceful happy joyful sensation that's a way to keep things moving in the right direction your uh, message from source is cheer up live in the moment live in the moment don't get so wrapped up with how things have to be in the future that you forget 
you live in this moment. You live here. You live now. The Illuminary Dragon is showing you a path forward, showing you how the tools that you have, what you've done, what you could possibly do, but it's also shining directly on you. And the message from Source is not so much the cheer up part, but don't put so much worry and concern into the future. Set your plans, set your goals, work towards them. But if you're not enjoying the path to said future, your future is not going to be as enjoyable either. And that could be part of that hiccup that's coming in with the I Ching. So definitely make sure that you're enjoying life. Set yourself up for success in the future, but also know that your success in the present also counts. So, and that can be something simple as you going out for with friends, going camping, going for a hike, getting outside, doing things that are just reviving to the soul and allow you to feel that peace and joy. Disconnect from technology for a while and just enjoy that time. Your lesson or challenge from the tarot, we'll have to edit this, edit as in cover up body parts. I love this deck. It just tends to, a couple of the cards are a little racy. Uh, <laughs> We have the King of Swords, so it's the King of Air. Been there, done that, learned the lesson, going forward. You've accomplished a lot. You've learned a lot through study, knowledge, through experience, great. And with those two, you've developed wisdom. And I don't care if you're 20 or 75, you have gained wisdom through experiences in life. We all do. What they're saying this first week is enjoy the fact that the sun is shining on you. Enjoy the fact that you live in the now and you've set yourself up for success. You know where you're headed. You have those goals set out ahead of you. Go forward in confidence, but also with happiness and enjoyment. As it talks about with the I Ching, you're on a journey. Enjoy the journey. It's You're there to have fun. You're there to be happy with the message that's coming through for you in your dreams, in your day-to-day -day life. It could be one of those aha moments that hits you, but just enjoy the path that you're on. Your second week's guide or guardian is number 32, Divine Feminine Energy, Divine Feminine Dragons. The Divine Feminine is comforting. It is supportive. It's also very fertile. The Divine Feminine may not be as highly aggressive as the Divine Masculine aspect, but in her own way, I think mama bear <laughs> is very passionate about things and the second week they're saying it's a little bit more about being more gentle this dragon's coming in to help you find those quiet sensitive parts by no means do not think for one moment that she is weak or that you are weak for working with her she's saying strength and power and physicality is great but there's also strength in gentility there's also strength in compassion and that's the energy that's coming in for the second week is just kind of like find the balance the illuminary with the solar energy is very powerful very uh, projective very you could say aggressive the second week is finding that balance bringing it into check you're still moving forward things are going well just work with that more feminine energy the second week your second week's message from source is dreams believing in your dreams the other aspect of the divine feminine is your subconscious and with the subconscious energy keep a journal next to your bed record your dreams when you get up in the morning um, and also allow yourself air you can do this allow yourself to daydream air can either be highly analytical or kind of a uh, space cadet we'll just use that term and in this aspect if you've been really sh focused and really analytical and you've just been everything has its place everything has to be lined up have some fun relax if you are the type who is very I don't remember what the different type ABC's are but if you're the type that really needs to have everything structured everything has to happen you have every minute of your day uh, planned out schedule in a block of time for daydreaming for watching that fantasy movie whatever that is something to let your brain check out take the time to read a novel not one for education strictly entertainment they're saying the second week, allow yourself that fun period. Do the work. Take the serious points. Do you know? Don't don't quit your job. Move to Spain or anything, but have the time to enjoy some frivolity. It's good for the soul. <laughs> uh, your 
second week's message or less lesson or ter- uh, lesson or challenge from the tarot can't even talk today is the five of wands the five of fire she is gazing into the past she's concerned with the what has happened what's happened is what's happened the king of swords um, in the first week is saying been there done that moving forward here taking the lessons the wisdom going on the five of wands is saying there's a lot of potential and you look back at times to see the things you missed those opportunities quote unquote that I should have done that okay but are you in a better spot now because you don't know what that other path would have led you to you may not be where you're at right now which would be in a better spot than you were then the five of wands is looking at the past at least that's how I see it and how I'm being shown looking at the past and playing the what if game what if I did that could be fun but don't let that drag you down because the past is in the past those decisions those decision gates specifically are closed now there may be similar ones ahead that you can try a different journey great but don't get so focused on what's going what has happened that you forget that you're still living here and you're moving forward not backwards your second third week's guide or guardian is number 29 the soul guardian the soul guardian comes in to remind you you're protected you are loved you are cared for coming on the tail of the divine feminine energy this is they're coming in to protect and guide you if a specific path may not be the best one you're gonna feel that little nudge like hey maybe go over here or if something a decision that you're like you're having that feeling like, eh, maybe I shouldn't make that decision trust your instincts go into your intuition apply your logic airs good with this apply your logic to it and make a decision based upon that the soul guardian is saying there's a lot of outside influences that may come forward could be that prince that wanders off uh, as we said the I Ching after a few days and there's no misfortune in that if you make a decision and people are like okay well I'll check you later that's fine let them go they'll come back or they won't it's fine because your soul journey is your soul journey no one else can live it for you your second or third week's uh, message from source is dragon discover your courage the soul guardian comes in to help you understand your decisions help you discover your courage and your courage has some little secret gems like the house right here she's riding a plant dragon which is kind of cool um, your dr- your dreams your goals take courage you can't just wake up one day and be like okay I'm gonna do this and the first sign of trouble you run back and hide courage is stepping outside of your comfort zone courage is doing the thing that needs to be done even if you feel some fear or um, trepidation now there's times when you feel complete revulsion your body rebels completely against a decision that's not usually fear that's usually your warning system going off being like "Eh, abort abort don't go that way so pay attention to that but don't be don't hide from a challenge don't hide from growth source is saying in this aspect you've got the tools again as it said in the I Ching just because you're the rain comes it doesn't mean you're stopping your growth take the break if you need to challenge your comfort zone move beyond it as you feel led but the courage is there you have it you've had it for a while you just may not use it as much as sometimes you should (laughs) and that's fine everyone's soul is journey is different your lesson or challenge this is a major arcana so this could apply for the entire month is number 11 with strength strength is doing the hard thing this is a they're saying challenge they're really focusing on that word so everything's going really well for air this month in September and the challenge could be when something comes up that's a tripping hazard so to speak you may not feel as comfortable moving forward as you would like the dragons and the soul guardian are saying you have the courage to do this don't just give up because there's a bump in the road you have the strength to conquer your demons you have the strength to conquer as it shows in here this one is a centaur Um, some of them have him conquering a lion it's definitely about moving forward in that confidence and that strength inner strength no one outside can see 
you're not measuring it in muscle mass. You're measuring it in what are you able to accomplish and how much, what kind of fears that you have personally are you able to step beyond? Is it fear of public speaking? Is it fear of starting that business? Is it fear of starting that YouTube channel? Is it fear of asking for that raise? Those are all things that are definitely can make you scared, but are they really something that's going to cause your life to fall apart? No. That is stepping outside your comfort zone, and that takes courage, and that takes strength to do. And once you do it the first time, it gets easier the time after that. So the Soul Guardian, the Dragons, and the Strength card are saying, you've got the gifts, you've got the skills, step outside the comfort zone when it is appropriate for you to do so. Uh, your third, fourth week is number one. We're back to the beginning with balance. Everything in life is a balancing act, especially for air. You love to know all of the different p bits and pieces. You put it into an alignment and then you pick the one that keeps the best energy flowing. The dragons of balance come in to say, you know what? We got this. You're working with the scales, which is already tied into really all of the air energy to be honest with you you are the energy that works with balance these dragons are coming in to say great job keep going what do you need us to do they're here to support you they're not coming in to really direct you they're not going to be in the way work with the energies that are there to support you they're also they're also emphasizing you have a big friend group you may not notice how big the friend group is they're all there for support, especially this fourth week. And it's not like you're going to be, I'm in a bad place. I need help. It's I've made this decision and you may have some nervousness about it. Seek out people within your circle and ask them, this is what I'm doing. This is how I feel. You might be surprised by their answers. So we are working with message from source with Archangel Raphael, provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. Raphael is also the patron angel of air. He is the angel of the east. He is also the divine surgeon. He's great at helping us understand the balance of mind, body, spirit. He is also a great angel to help us understand diet, physicality, meditation, mind, body, spirit. You're working with all of these energies and you're coming back into a balance. There's a period in this month where things may not be as great as they could be. It's not bad. As it said with the Ching, there's no misfortune with what you're doing. The trick is don't let the ego get in the way. Keep going forward. Hold that balance. As you go through this month, especially this fourth week, they're saying you're going to notice that everything's coming back into alignment for you from a minor hiccup. It's, and they're, It's weird because they're saying it's just going to be a minor hiccup. So whatever that is and however that manifests and who knows you may be one listening to this where you don't have the hiccup which is even better <laughs> your lesson or challenge from the tarot is the king of pentacles working with some opposition energy here because earth is opposite of air uh, don't try to hold on to the things that no longer serve if it's trying to escape, especially in this fourth week, because you're finding your new balance and you're working with healing and bringing things back into alignment, if there's something that needs to be let go of, let it go. <laughs> let the chat, the wind blow the chaff away. It's not necessary to hold on to every aspect of every single thing, especially when it comes to things that you have done for years. And at this last moment, all of a sudden, it's like it's no longer important it's okay to let that stuff go it may not be easy to do but what they're saying is your challenge for this week is definitely just let stuff kind of wash off you've done the work you're finding your new balance this is part of finding that balance is clearing out the stuff that's not working for you this month has been overall very much a positive month there's a growth potential there's kind of an ease in flow on how you're moving through there's a little bit of a hiccup but they're also bringing forward that that hiccup is showing you this part of life that maybe needs a little bit of attention it could be a bad habit or some habit that you want to change anyway this is the time to do that it could be something along that lines or it could just be the fact that you need the reminder to connect back with your family connect back with your inner circle and your friends 
see how that work plays out through this month because it's there's a lot of growth but there's also this like tap on the shoulder you got this one little spot you might need to pay some attention to so your fifth week which is kind of a bonus week for september is number 26 the healer the healer dragon comes in you've done the work you've went through the process through the month we won't repeat all of that the healer is coming in to say now that you've done all of that let's integrate let's take everything that you've learned let's bring it in you found your new balance let's hold it through that middle pillar let's get it connected back into ourselves anchor the stuff the lessons the knowledge the wisdom you have earned back into yourself ground it into your heart chakra ground it down through the earth star connect yourself back into gaia may not be the most comfortable thing for air but allow yourself to integrate all of that information with the last two weeks the fourth week uh, message from source with archangel Raphael, divine healer and then in this fifth week the healer dragons coming forward it's just a little reminder this fifth week keep anchoring things down bringing it in your message from source is potential thinking big for your future there's not been a huge push towards uh, future planning this month this last week is saying okay you've gotten the things dealt with as you've been going through the month there's been that healing and growth you've got the new integration occurring and now that you've done that set your sights as high as you want what is it that you are big picture what is it you're aiming for what is it you're growing towards if you do vision boards like in january look back at those what have you accomplished pat yourself on the back did that did that did that uh, in an egoic sense but a uh, fact of thank you universe god source divine for helping me achieve this we still have a couple other things what do i need to do to move forward with this that's that thinking big that's that thinking outside the bubble it's also something it could be a little bit of a stepping outside your comfort zone with that strength and courage so and I like this particular card because it's such a fascinating it's like a Christmas morning picture where she's staring very uh, uh, focused at her uh, her uh, snow globe or crystal ball if you wish so there's always those potentials for growth and that's what they're showing in that to me in that card so let's see what your tarot has to say the seven of chalices interesting little bit of emotion coming forward here be at peace with how things go it doesn't matter if you're not the center of attention by the end of the month you've done a lot of positive growth you've reconnected you've anchored knowledge wisdom skills and talents in you're able to move forward in grace and in beauty enjoy that with the seven of cups it's saying allow the self-reflection to, to be like I'm all right I've done the thing your ego's not in the way it's a growth month for air and when you look in the mirror at the end of the month and you're looking at yourself ask yourself how have I grown how have I changed how have I in the month of September developed as a person as a soul as a friend as a partner as a lover however it is look at the things that have shifted changed and grown it doesn't have to be big it could be something very small and it for you could be massive so uh, with that I will let you guys go if you're new here hit that subscribe button drop a like on the video if you enjoy this type of content um, let me know your thoughts feelings opinions as long as we're respectful that's all any of us can ask for right uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great month of September.